uh, poll, whites and Republicans rank as angriest Americans. Nearly half of Americans are angry, and no groups are angrier than whites and Republicans, according to a new NBC News SurveyMonkey Esquire online poll about outrage in the country. Overall, 49% of Americans said that they find themselves feeling angrier now about current events than they were one year ago. Whites are the angriest, 54% saying they have grown more outraged over the past year. That's more than Latinos, 43% of them are angry. More than African Americans, 33% of them are angry. 73% of whites said they get angry at least once a day. you believe this? Compared 66% of Hispanics and 56% of blacks. So 73% of whites said they get angry at least once a day. Obviously when they listen to talk radio. And 66% of Hispanics and 56% of blacks, they only get mad once a day. The far fewer of them. I guess that explains all the rioting and looting that white people are doing. Uh, wait, that isn't happening. How do you explain that? Uh, was it say a 60, 73 percent of whites angry at least once a day? Sixty six percent Hispanics, fifty six percent blacks. Obviously, that would explain all the rioting and looting. And then it hit me. The uh, group here that's said to be the angriest isn't doing any of that. But they are listening to talk radio. The poll also found Republicans are angrier than Democrats. 61% of Republicans say current events irk them more today than a year ago. Let me tell you, anecdotally, I don't know anybody angrier than any Democrat you run into. Any leftist, any Democrat, I don't care where you find them. Twitter, Facebook, the movies, on the street, Walmart, I don't care. They're mad. They are livid constantly, not just once or twice a day. They get up mad. They go to bed madder. But beside all of that, note here that the attempt in the media is to cast anger as irrational, irresponsible, uncalled for, very, very bad. And very, very wrong to be mean and and angry. As though there's no justification. You know, if you ask me, everybody ought to be angry over what the left has done and is doing to the country. It makes perfect rational sense for people to be angry. Now, the political class and the establishment, they don't like anger because that means they know people are mad at them. And as far as the elites are concerned, there's no justification for people being mad at them. They're special people. They're the best and brightest among us. We all ought to love them. We all ought to appreciate them. We all ought to bow down and celebrate them. But instead, we're mad at them, and they don't like that. So they want to cast this anger as irrational and irresponsible. To me, it's entirely common sense. What? Decent American who can't find a job and hasn't been able to for I don't know how long isn't mad. People that have student loans, people that have Obamacare mandates and responsibilities, and that's just scratching the surface. People looking at the, the very identity and structure of their country being changed daily. The southern border being overrun. What, are we just supposed to sit back and twiddle our thumbs over this? The anger is justified, but of course they try to discredit the anger and discard it on the basis, well, it's all because of talk radio. See, once again, you are too stupid to even be mad until somebody tells you to be. You don't have the mental acuity or ability to even get angry on your own. You have to wait for your local talk show host to tell you to get mad, and then you do. And then they go on TV and blame talk radio for it. 